open space, um, to the concrete slab. It was a it was a great service. It was kind of reminded us about resiliency that we're going to be resilient no matter what happens, which is a picture of all of our lives, no matter what happens. But I didn't want us to become so focused on us and what happened to us here and what we were going to do next here and lose the vision of the gospel, lose the vision of the Great Commission that we're to be about other people. So that Sunday, I think, kind of was hopefully kept our balance about us versus loving others, serving others around us, and being outward looking. See, the church is the people in it, you know, as we assemble together in His name. And a lot of times, with us being humans, we like to grumble and, and bicker, and I was, I was fearful that that would happen to us and that it would create a division. And thankfully, that nowhere near did that play out. It was the exact opposite. In fact, it brought us all together. It was a blessing to see uh, people work together so well, a project this big, and to see the cooperation and um, just consideration for fellow church members. And I think that that was, um, that's a really good thing. You know, it's exciting. Um, starting this new chapter with friendship, I feel like God is really, you know, going to do something incredible. He's going to do, it feels like it, you know, it just feels like we've been through a pruning stage and now we're about, about to just explode and about to just grow. Seeing friendship through the different stages of the old, old church and then the remodeled church last and then uh, it's it's been incredible seeing the journey over the years of, you know, the last 20 years that I've been a part of it and um, seeing the growth and seeing just how God is alive. It, it really... Um, is pretty incredible. A year, I would think, you know, would be pretty close. I mean, that would be all the planning process and, I mean, starting from scratch, you know, and coming up footprint and then getting it to the architects and, to, you know, clear through to completion, I would I would say about a year. It's exciting. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we'd get bored at home or something. We were like, hey, let's go out to the church. Yeah. And we'd peek in the windows and try all the doors and, oh, we'd find one that was open and, oh, my gosh, we got excited. And, yeah. And don't step through the mud, watch the mud hole here. And Yeah, that was pretty cool. And trying to figure out where things were laid out in the church, that was exciting coming out here. Yeah, this was better than any DIY show you'd see on TV. You know, we'd come out here and check it out. The new space is exciting. Um, the old structure, uh, while it wasn't that old, um, was built in three different phases. This was designed uh, for people flow and designed for the future. Um, and, and so it's exciting to see um, the ability, which we haven't had in 15 years, for all of us, at least at this point, all of us to meet at once. The sanctuary's big enough, the chapel's big enough that we can do that, I think. You know, more seating, um, just the opportunities that, that the new space will, you know, you build it, they will come. Um, and I believe that, you know, we, we have done really well with discipleship, um, expanding our youth programs, and really growing our kids to where they, they have a home now, too.
it's kind of awesome because you go in and you think, well, now then, how's this going to work? Because <laughs> it was completely different to the other two churches that was standing here before. And, uh, but it smelled so new and you know that, you know, through Christ we have a renewal in our life spirits. And I guess that's mainly what you could think about, that he was going to be here no matter what. <laughs> It's really put in perspective, I mean, how lucky this church is. You know, lucky or blessed or however you want to look at it. Because there's a lot of churches that they don't, they don't have a kids talk because there's not enough kids there to do it. It's just kind of an older generation and the, you just kind of wonder how those churches are going to fare. And that first Sunday when you've got 50 or 60 kids up on the stage at one time, you know it's you know, 10 years from now this church itself won't be big enough. It was really neat because it felt like, it still felt like friendship church. You walked in, you looking around, the, the shape of the room and, and kind of the style and everything, it didn't seem that much different other than it was just big. There's so many chairs and so many people. Um, so it still felt like friendship, but it was, uh, it was a little nerve wracking the first time because we was starting off something new. I mean, we was, when we were meeting in town, uh, it was crowded. You know, it was, I, I guess it was home somewhat, but it's, it was just a temporary thing. And, and this is, this is a permanent, a permanent place here, I guess, for us to meet. There was just a peace about being all back together and Jed preaching out here, even though we're together at Friendship Place when he was preaching. Um, it's just like we're home again.